This trip was a once in a lifetime experience. It was the best experience we had on our whole Bali and Indonesia trip and one of our top three experiences that we have ever done. We sailed the Komodo Islands for three days and two nights on a liverboard. We always thought this experience would be outside of our budget, but we booked with Travis Life and it cost us only £270 each. We flew from Denpensar to Labon Bajo to start our trip. Morning guys, coming at you bright and early, it's actually only 7 o'clock now, from the airport. We are on our way to Labuan Bajo to do a trip around the Komodo Islands on a boat, which we are so excited for. We've been excited for this for the entire trip to Bali. Um, it wasn't smooth sailing and I'll let Lewis explain why. The boat actually departs from Labuan Bajo at 9am today. We were supposed to fly there yesterday, got to the airport four hours early purely just because we tried to extend our visa and we couldn't do it yesterday so here super early get there go to check in at the gate and i told that the flight was actually moved to 11 a.m instead of 3 p.m and has already departed we didn't receive any notification that, that happened um, went and spoke to customer services and they apologized and said because they didn't have our email they weren't able to tell us so complete and utter disaster so we are now Get in the plane this morning, we'll get there at 10 past 9, which is an hour late, and we're gonna jump on a speedboat and catch up the big sailing boat that we are supposed to be on. So let's see how that goes. We've just landed at Komodo, um, which is also called... The airport's called, well the town that you land in is called Labuan Bajo. Yeah, so we've made it, we're just in a taxi now, the main boat that we're catching, so we're doing a two night, three day boat around the Komodo Islands, which we've been excited for for this entire trip. Um, and the boat has left with most of the guests on it, so we are racing to the harbour now. We're going to catch a speed boat to catch up with the other boat and then, yeah, carry on our trip. So stay tuned. couple of days actually so spacious if you um if you watched our liverboard um, vlog then yeah it's a it's a it's a slight upgrade yeah this is so cute look so cute love it we'll show you around the boat in a bit we've just literally got on gonna have some lunch and then we'll check back in So the second stop of the day, I can't remember what this island is called, but I will write it here. Takamasaka. Taka Takamasaka, Taka oh, maybe. I'm guessing. But we will write it on the screen. I'm guessing. Um, yeah. This place is a joke. Like, the water is just so clear. Absolutely amazing. I'll let the, <laughs> the island tell you for itself.
now getting close to sunset time and we're heading to Padar. Padar Island. Island. Yeah. <laughs> you too. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're heading to Padar Island to do the hike for sunset. We're really excited to see that viewpoint. Eight, 800 steps to the top, so it should take about 15 minutes. See how we go. Let's do that. <sighs> Nearly there. Look at that. Amazing. up to the top saw all the viewpoints we hope you like the drone shots but oh, I just I'm speechless on this place it's now sunset look how blue that water is behind me and then on the other side look at that sunset I mean Lewis's head's in the way but it's amazing it's absolutely incredible so we just had to pay 500,000 which is like 30 quid <clears throat> to the ranger here to fly the drone but god it was absolutely worth it yeah yeah, the water's so blue and this sky is just... Hopefully the camera's doing this justice, I don't think it feels like it is. Morning, morning, day two on the Komodo trip and yeah, really excited. We were up at around half five to see the sunrise and now it's around quarter to seven and we're heading to Pink Beach. So yeah, really famous beach. If you haven't heard of it, then check it out. landed on Pink Beach and wow a little bit surprised at how many um, like little restaurant things there are on on the island they're just kind of behind me here but still stunning we've got here pretty early it's about 10 past 7 so definitely recommend getting here early if you don't want anybody else here got it all to ourselves with our lovely group and yeah it's definitely super pink where the um, water hits the sand the rest of it is kind of a lovely light pink I would say yeah beautiful any thoughts babe yeah just stunning not as pink as I thought but glass nonetheless This beach is actually on the islands that you'll see on Instagram like all the time when you search for Komodo with the viewpoint with the three kind of I suppose pillars coming out from the island and it is absolutely stunning. We got here super early at like seven and there was no one here, fed it all to ourselves. It's getting pinker and pinker as the sun's coming up. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely stunning. Might not be as pink as you see on Instagram, but yeah, just epic. So for the rest of the day, we're now going over to the Komodo National Park to see the Komodo dragons which is going to be absolutely cool. Our guide was talking us through all the safety stuff with the Komodos last night because they are 
Like they can be like eight foot long and will chase you and eat things the size of humans. So got to be safe, but it sounds like very rare that they would ever get um, too close. And then we're going to go do some snorkeling. We're going to go to a place called, I think he called it Strawberry Rock. It's a massive kind of pink rock. And then, what's the final thing? Oh, the final thing is to go to a point, I can't remember the name of it, but we'll basically all be on the boat and all of like thousands of bats will come out for the sunset, so that's gonna be pretty awesome. And this is our final night on the boat. Not sure what the itinerary is tomorrow, but we finish up at around two, and then we're gonna head to Lavawan Bajo just to chill for the evening for hopefully two days of diving. So yeah, three very big days ahead. Very much looking forward to it. got to Komodo National Park and we are on the hunt for some Komodo dragons. Um, I don't know how much everyone knows about Komodo dragons. They are basically the closest thing to dinosaur I think that we have around these days and they will eat us if they want to. So we've had a lot of um, talks from our ranger and from our guide on our boat to tell us all the things we must and must not do. And one of the most important, which you can take from this video, is if they do start to chase you, run in a zigzag because they don't have very good sight, but they can smell you. So if you run in a zigzag, it kind of confuses them a little bit. So yeah, let's see if we find any, fingers crossed. to the end of our trek and we have seen four Komodo dragons, two young ones, one absolutely huge one that had eaten a boar yesterday so that was pretty cool and it was right on the beach then we just saw a tiny little baby which is like apparently two years old and it's, I don't know, it's probably as long as one of our arms or something um, so yeah pretty successful. And we saw a deer that had been bitten ready for eating when it dies in a few days. Yeah, so the Komodos will bite their prey and then over like the space of a week they will slowly become paralysed and then the Komodos will come along and scoop them up for dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty sad but circle of life. seeing the Komodo dragons, what a bucket list moment. And we've just been upstairs having a little nap and sunbathe on the top deck. It's so sunny outside, it's absolutely beautiful. And now we're gonna have some lunch. Just had a fab lunch and now we're stopping for a little snorkeling spot. Let's see what we can find. I'm a dreamer, but it's hard to sleep when your head's not in it. I've been restless, cause you disappeared and there's something missing. The earth is loose under my shoes. There's an angel and he's shaped like you and I thought I knew him. There's a window and it's dark inside where the light was in it. Which is 
is over, we've had a bit of a chill and now we've made it to our third destination of the day, Strawberry Rock, which we'd never heard of before. Apparently it's a strawberry coloured looking rock, so yeah, it's actually meant to be very picturesque, so we'll show you. I remember how we danced so close, I would stand on your feet. And the phone calls that were last all night, they were lifeboats to me. Our fading skies, just shooting stars, they're here. Made it to Strawberry Rock. Kind of looks like you're on the moon or something, it's really cool. It's all like purple and pink and yeah, really, really cool. Glad we came here. I will not beg you to stay. From Strawberry Rock and look at this lovely setup we've got here honestly nothing makes us all happier than a bit of food when we come back do you know what I mean I will not beg you to stay I will move on and you should know I mean it while pussy's running sunrise hike I can't remember the name of the island but I will put it up here when we show you um yeah so super early <laughs> feeling the tiredness but having an amazing time all the same what I'm feeling maybe I just don't I just don't what you do Come back down. What is the time? Nearly six o'clock. I reckon we can get a little nap in maybe before breakfast. back from our hike, had some breakfast and then went snorkeling. We'll show you what we saw now. Now we've just been jumping off the boat, so much fun and it's our last couple of hours here until we go back to La Bombadjo. Really, really sad that it's over to be honest, I could do this forever. Here I am, I'm doing my own thing, hell I just wanna sing, never wanted to impress, God bless, don't ever wanna have to. Mirror, mirror, tell me, what is it about them, living like it's their game. 
there's talkers and there's doers Hey, we're all, we're all losers We're in the house made up of glass Devils in the skies I can see right through your eyes Baby, I can see your lies is over sad face we're just pulling into Lavo and Barger now just had some lunch i think we're gonna sleep for the entire afternoon because we're up at 4 a.m yeah and we've just booked on for a diving day trip around the komodos tomorrow so really excited for that three dives going back to manta point so hopefully diving with the mantas will be epic but yeah trip has been Trip incredible. Of lifetime. Absolutely Trip of lifetime. incredible. Yeah. So yeah, so hopefully you enjoy the vlog, get loads of inspo and everybody wants to come to the Komodo because it is so so worth it. It is as good as they say it is. Yeah. Peace out. See you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go and get it out yeah. of the way. Go on babe. Get over with it. Ready? <laughs> Woof! Fucking hell, it's so high. Is our photographer ready? Actually, hey, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and we're up for our final day on the boat. Oh my god, I literally haven't even been to the mirror yet. Oh, look. Interesting. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs>